welcome to analytics with nax in this video i'm going to talk about integration runtime what it is when to use it as part of your azure data factory one of the use cases is to connect to on premise database that is what we are going to see as part of this video let's begin so basically the definition of it is like it is the compute infrastructure used by the Azure Data Factory and provide following data integration capabilities, which are those. This is data flow, data appointment, activity dispatch, SS package execution across different networks, meaning it can be either in the cloud or in the on-premise. That is what across different networks. And in order to further drill down where this particular integration runtime fits in in the Azure Data Factory, we all know what is the activity which defines the action to be performed, meaning it can be calling a data flow or move, um, it can be a simple copy data activity or calling a stored procedure. That is what activity, meaning which action to be performed is defined by the activity. Link services defines the target data store. Uh, I mean, it, it is written target data store, meaning it can be a connection, it can be a source or target it, based on where we use the link services. So basically that is the compute service. When you say uh, uh, running a procedure, all the procedure execution happens in this particular link services, meaning within the database. That is what the link services then how you can link the activity and link services via integration runtime this provides a bridge between the activities and the link services this is what it's all about so there are three types of uh, integration runtime azure self-hosted azure ssis so basically this azure uh, is mostly if your uh, data source is in cloud uh, this integration runtime will work and self-hosted meaning uh, your data it's in on-premise or private network then you need to install the self-hosted there are sometimes you have uh, SSIS uh, packages that you need to run then you can use the Azure SSIS so there are three different types of integration runtime so so what are we going to do today as we already uh, said uh, as part of this demo we are going to use the uh, integration runtime for connecting to the on-premise database because our azure data factory resides in the cloud and it cannot directly connect to your on-premise storage so we need a integration runtime in between our cloud and the on-premise database so we will install uh, the integration runtime self-hosted in the uh, your corporate firewall or in the local servers then this will act as a bridge between your data factory and your uh, on-premise database that is what it's all about we are going to perform this uh, action in our next video like connecting to on-premise storage and uh, loading into cloud storage in this video we will try to create the integration runtime this channel contains a free content that covers the power bi msbi and fundamentals of azure please share this channel with your friends and colleagues so that it will be useful for them let's begin i am in um, data factory now so where you can find the data factory integration runtime it's like if you go to manage there are different things over here link services we have initially seen like integration i mean uh, link services data sets and we have created uh, pipelines all of the things as of now we never talked about the integration runtime when you click on the integration runtime you can see this is the auto resolve which is the azure type right yeah, as i said there are three types uh, we have this azure type which is used to connect between the within the azure services now our goal is to create the self-hosted so click on the self-hosted now click on next use this for running activities in an on-premise or private network so we'll go for self-hosted now again then provide awn demo uh, 
df data factory makes sense this is our um, integration runtime we can put ir underscore oh, there is no underscore okay ir integration runtime analytics with nux demo data factory all is well click on create there you go now uh, here is the two steps one is click here to launch express uh, setup for this computer and download and install integration runtime there are two ways to do this either you can go for express or for the manual in a corporate environment i will prefer manual because uh, you may not uh, work in the same server that you are configuring the azure data factory so download and uh, while it is prompting for the key one and key two you can provide this uh, keys there then it will be synced with this uh, ir created in the data factory for the demo purpose i'm going for option one so that it will automatically install um, the in my pc because it is my personal pc i'm installing that can be quick so i'm opening up i'm installing it will take a while okay the download is completed and now it started installing uh, integration runtime let's see how much it time it takes now the installation is happening and the installation is done and the registration of integration runtime is happening let's wait for it okay now it says like integration runtime is successfully installed on your computer okay there you go so once it is configured and refreshed you can see the ir is uh, working fine and we have seen in our server as well using this now we can quickly uh, connect to our on-premise sql server on-premise sql server is here let me copy the server name this is my server name and i'm using sql authentication for it let's try to create one so sql server you should be sql server then use the integration runtime that is the runtime we created this is my server and database name leave it blank i mean uh, i can take this one adventure works is my database name and i'm using uh, sql authentication i'll provide the password that's it let's try to uh, use the test connection here there we go okay so the connection was successfully established right for this you need to set your trust connection trust the server certificate click on connect there you go so now we have can able to create the connection to the on-premise database server once it is created then it is as usual it can be treated as another um, um, uh, link service in your pipelines that we have already seen how we have um, used this uh, link service in the pipelines we've created data sets from this link service and use the data sets in your pipelines the rest will follow next video we will see how to move one particular table from the on-premise to our uh, cloud services if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that 
data is your asset.